Everybody loves stuffed peppers. So, we're gonna make the one with no meat, vegetarian. All we need is peppers, of course, and a few other things. Uh, dry mint, tomatoes, scallions, onions, zucchini, and yellow squash, rice, of course. And then my little secret here, artichoke hearts. And the liquid, we're gonna use uh, chicken stock. As you can see, I cut the peppers already, except one, because I'm gonna show you how to cut the pepper. What you need, you need to, to preserve the top. So with a little paring knife, you go and you cut the top around. And that, this is gonna be our hut. Take out all the, whatever you can, all the meat. So we're gonna stuff the pepper, put the top on it, put all the peppers in a dish that kind of fit kind of snugly, nice and snugly. We need a kind of fairly big dish because we're gonna do a stuff in here. High heat, olive oil, of course. Uh, be generous with the olive oil in this one. Oil, onions. About two minutes until they become a little brown, not too much, just a little bit. It's a good idea always to season the onions. And my seasoning here is a classic Costa seasoning. Salt, pepper, Greek oregano. Make sure it's a Greek oregano. Now, for the artichokes, so best chop them roughly. The onion is almost ready. You can see, change the color a little bit. Zucchini and squash. How much rice, right? We don't know how much rice. We have one, two, three, six peppers. We're gonna use one tablespoon of rice per pepper. So we have six tablespoons of rice here. Again, remember that we're gonna make the stuffing and everything will be in the peppers and the, the whole thing goes in the oven. So you don't need to cook completely the stuffing. You put the artichokes in, tomatoes. Rice and scallions. Dry mint. An amazing spice. Lemon zest. Or a whole lemon. And the juice of the lemon as well. This is fun, it has no seeds. Uh, chicken stock. How much chicken stock? What we want to do here is kind of mix the stuffing, not too wet, just a little wet, partially cooked, and then we can always put more liquid into the, the peppers. What we want is to have a little liquid that covers the peppers kind of three quarters. Now, there's no spice in here, but if you like spicy, Cayenne pepper. I like it, so I'm gonna put a little bit. Not too much. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Stir it, a little bit more uh, liquid because it goes down, evaporates. Now, what we did here, we cooked the halfway the, the vegetables, as you can see. And with the rice, we kind of wanna start cooking the rice. We wanna toss it a little bit and, you know, with the, with the liquid kind of, it's almost there, it's almost ready. So a little bit more liquid. And a final taste. Woohoo! Delicious. All right. Ready to stuff. Fill these little babies. You don't want to fill the peppers all the way up because the rice, as it cooks, it will expand. So it will kind of Fill them up, but as you can see, we have a little bit extra rice and stuffing. So you're just gonna go in between the peppers. Just a little bit. All right. Now, this is completely dry. Chicken stock. 
You can even go inside the peppers too, if you want. So as you can see, it's plenty of uh, plenty of liquid. That should be good enough. Fill the cups. Olive oil. A final well, seasoning. We're gonna cover it and bake it 350. All right. In the oven. Let's see what we're doing. There they are. All right. We can pick inside. Yeah, they're getting there slowly. So we're gonna put them back in the oven for another 20 minutes. Let's check out the peppers. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. They're cooking. Oh, they look ready from the outside, but let's check the inside. I'll take one cup off. You see the rice came up already. So I'm just gonna make sure the rice is cooked nice and soft. Ready. And we still have some sauce right, around the peppers. This is our roasted pepper, stuffed pepper, all veggies, the cup, delicious, enjoy!